Okay, in this video I'd like to talk a little bit about my normal technique that I use with my left hand called the traditional grip. So what this actually did for me was I had a right hand, which is my strong hand, and now I had my weak hand, left hand. Now it couldn't do anything with this new position because it's so seemingly difficult. So I had to dedicate a lot of time and practice to this technique in order to make my left hand equal to my right hand whereas before it had been noticeably weaker. So it was good for that and for yourselves you may find this is a good reason to learn this technique. It also gives you some different options. Sometimes it's easier to play on the kit, especially over on the floor Tom. It's slightly less awkward, which I think is one reason why Buddy Rich used it. Also Buddy Rich used, uh, had lots of different techniques which enabled him to do pretty much constant rhythms with his left hand while he was doing other things with his right. Now, I don't know all those techniques, I'm afraid, so I can't teach you those, but what I do know is everything I can do with my right hand, I can do with my left hand in traditional grip. One thing I'd like to say is about the fulcrum. A lot of people seem to think that the fulcrum in traditional grip is in the same place, but they seem to miss the point that in match grip, everything is controlled from behind the fulcrum. So therefore, that's the fulcrum is where the stick balances well. Now with traditional grip, most of the control is from here, uh, this part, and then we have some support in front. Now if we were to put the balance point at, at the same place, then instead of uh, working the stick from behind the fulcrum, we're working the stick from in front, which gives us far less stick to play with. Uh, and and it's, it feels very weird to have it there. So I always move it back. I always like to think that the fulcrum on the right hand is the centre of, of the hand in the left when we're playing traditional. And what we're doing is we're cradling the fulcrum rather than using the fulcrum. Now we have a, because of that we have a new fulcrum position which is further back. But that does enable us to get quite a good swing on the stick which is controlled between the side of the palm of the hand and the thumb. And we also have a little bit of control with our fingers. It's almost the fingers below, these two fingers here, they're, they're almost provide like a spring. Uh, I don't know if you can see uh, my stick is bouncing off my ring finger. And my ring finger acts as a spring. Now that takes a while to develop because your fingers got to become very flexible, almost rubbery. Um, and then the final part of the control is with the index finger. Um, I just like to think of this middle finger as, as wasted. Um, as Travis Barker, one of my favorite drummers at the moment, he would like to, um, he likes to demonstrate his uh, middle finger is not doing anything in some of his poses. Anyway, Getting, getting off point. Yeah, so a lot of control is from this finger as well. So we've got a lot of control from the thumb and the palm, which gives us a lot of swing. And then we can have some more finer control with this um, index finger, which helps us to do more sort of intricate work. And, and we basically work the traditional grip in the same way as the, as, as the right hand. So we've got the open strike which we play in a similar way with the left hand. Now it's quite a closed position again. We're, we're clamping between the um, index finger and the ring finger, and the little finger is offering support. The thumb is pushing down onto the index finger into the stick to provide a firm grip. And the middle finger is just hanging around, doing very little. Uh, uh, acting as a counterbalance, shall we say, um, to help balance the whole thing. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, later on we'll talk about, we haven't discovered, we haven't discussed this yet, but we'll talk about um, the double stroke on the right hand. We can do similar things with the left hand in traditional grip. And again, that's a combination of the back pivot between the thumb and the hand, uh, the, the index finger pushing down on the stick, and the springiness of the ring finger. 
We can do all that with the back of the hand. And the ring finger. Uh, but we get more control if we introduce the index finger as well. Now the right hand, all of the sticking, um, the fast finger sticking is controlled with the three fingers. But with the, with the left hand in traditional grip, it's a combination of the back of the hand, uh, the springiness of the ring finger, and fine control with the index finger, which is wrapped round, and, and a bit more force used with the thumb to make the stick grip stronger. Yeah, so that's basically it for the traditional grip. <laughs>